Hello and welcome to VLOOKUP HACKS HACK NUMBER 9 PARTIAL MATCH. My name's Jeff and I'm glad that you're here. Let's just jump right in. We want to go look this region up in our data table and return the amount. Okay, let's just, let's just get started. It sounds like a job for VLOOKUP. We want the VLOOKUP function to go find this, comma, in table 1. Return the value in the second column and false for exact match. Close the function and enter and hmm, we get an error. So we look at this, it says north region. Down below it is north region subtotal. So it makes sense that an exact match won't match because they're not the same values. Sounds like we need an approximate match instead. Equals VLOOKUP. Go find this in table one. Return the value in the second column. And instead of using exact match, let's use approximate match. That sounds like what we want. Close the function and enter. Hmm we still get an error. We kind of remember something about this issue from a previous VLOOKUP hack video, okay? Which was, when we're using true, the sort order matters, right? And so what we decide to do is sort this lookup table in ascending order. And now we fixed it, right? Because it's not returning an error. But then we look a little closer and we notice that North Region 13053 Hmm, it should be 8005. Instead, it's returning this. And when we think about the way that this fourth argument works, when it is set to true, we've talked about this. Okay, we said this is doing a range lookup. And when VLOOKUP is performing a range lookup, it starts here and it returns this value while uh, the value is greater than or equal to this cell and less than the next one. Right? And we talked about that. And that makes a lot of sense when we're doing numeric lookups, but it's a little harder to, to understand when we're doing text lookups. Okay? So approximate match is not what we need, but the fourth argument only has two options, false or true. There's not like a third option. So what are we supposed to do? Like go in and delete all these subtotaled values? Do it manually? No, no. What we're really looking for is a partial match. And that brings us to the hack. The hack is use a wild card in the first argument. Use a wild card. A wild card stands in to represent characters. What we want to do is ask VLOOKUP to go find a row that begins with north region. And then we need to join that using concatenation, which we talked about in a previous video to the wild card asterisk. And we need to enclose this asterisk inside of quotes, comma. Look that up in table one, return the value second column, zero for exact match. Before I hit enter, let's just review. I'm asking VLOOKUP to go find this. What is this? This is a text string that combines the value in B7, north region, and an asterisk wildcard, which stands in to represent any number of characters. So essentially we're saying that begins with the value in B7. Is this gonna work? I think so. Let's find out. Enter. Yes. Yes, it worked. North region 8005, North region 8005. And using this wildcard as the first argument gives us some flexibility. We can use begins with logic but we can also do ends with logic. Let's go to the next worksheet, ends with. Here, this is the order of this is different. We have north region, and then we have these subtotal lab labels in the beginning of each of the region labels. So instead of finding a value that begins with, we're gonna find a value that ends with. So it's exactly what you'd expect. Asterisk wildcard, combine it with concatenation to the value that's in B7. We want to find that in a table that's named table two. Return the value second column, zero for exact match. Okay, and enter. 8005, looks like we got it. And as you might suspect, we can also use this to, to define contains logic. So we did begins with, ends with, we can also do contains. <clears throat> so here, my lookup value is north and I want to find that in here. So I need to find the value that contains my label. And it's what you would expect it to be. Asterisk wildcard, join that to the value in B7, 
join that to another asterisk. Find that in table three, return the value second column, zero for exact match. Okay. So this would be the syntax for contains and enter, and we got it. Okay. Cool? All right. Hopefully, this wildcard hack will help you get more leverage and more utility out of this amazing function that I like to call VLOOKUP. All right, thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.